this is it. This is the part I've been waiting for for about a week. Um, I saw this on one of my subscribers' car about a week ago, and uh, we met up and uh, rode in his car. He has a Turbo Nitro. He rode in my car, and the first thing I noticed is th this part that was on his car, and I was like, "Dude, where did you get it? I need to have it. I gotta have it." Um, as you guys know, if you guys follow me on IG, I posted something up rear end of the car. I said some changes is gonna come. So you guys could have guessed what it is. Some of you guys guessed certain parts like trunk, carbon fiber trunk, blah 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 blah. But looking at this, I think you guys know or can guess what it is. So let me unbox it real quick. All right, guys, I'm in the garage. They provided some instructions, uh, pretty straightforward. Wipe down with water and alcohol. Tape the uh, provided double-sided tape. Peel off each edge, adjust it, put it on. While you're putting it on, start peeling the tape off, press firmly, and you're done, you enjoy. Allow mountain tape to cure for at least 24 hours. So pretty easy install. I don't really have a professional setup here. I don't really have a mount. Um, don't really have anything high enough to hmm, show you guys this. Uh, I'm trying to look around. Uh, I might have a box that might be high enough. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find some. If not, um, I'll just put the GoPro like. Let me see here if I can put it right. I'll probably put it right here and uh, you guys could see me install it, but let me go look for it. Uh, look for anything that I can mount this on. If not, uh, I'm gonna start installing it and uh, go from there. All right. All right, guys, don't really have anything. So what I'm gonna do is go by the instructions, wipe down the surface where the mountain tape's gonna be. I just got some uh, pre-soaked alcohol, uh, alcohol wipes. I'm just gonna wipe the, let's see if we can see that. I'm just gonna wipe the, uh, the wing. I'm just wiping the surface where the tape is going to be installed. And after that, I wipe it down with a uh, microfiber cloth. Just make sure everything is clean. And that's step one. Step two. So I'm not sure if I should heat up the area a little bit. Uh, heat up the tape, because it is pretty cold. Oh, the back is killing me. It is a bit chilly, but I have some extra, extra double-sided tape anyways, just in case if uh, I mess up here. So seems pretty sticky. I'll heat it up maybe just a little bit, but uh, let's see here. So it's telling me to mount it on the edge here, on this trim. So there's a little rivet here, so you can just follow the river, rivet. So I'll probably do it like this. Okay, cool. Definitely good. It's sticking. No problems there. All right, step two. Gotta get the flap.
So let me show you guys the, the gap. So each side, see you want to make this part even when you install it. So this side is a little bit more gapped, um, pushing it, I'm gonna push it this way a little bit, but if, as you can see, it's pretty damn close. But as of right now, I'm gonna have to uh, peel this tape off a little bit, the top layer. says two to four inches peel off so this is good about right there now i gotta fine adjust it and what you want to do is leave the flap down like that so i'm assuming when they when you push this flap back to adjust it you can start peeling it off and then press firmly down so that's what i'm about to do here all right make sure each corner and edges are lined up and symmetrical. And then light, lightly lift the flap, pull away the strip. So, all right, here we go. One thing I don't like messing around with double-sided tape, once you fuck up, you fuck up, you gotta have to redo the whole thing from my experience. So, if I had to install it again, I would have put the tape, not with the instructions say on the edge, I would probably put it right in the middle somewhere. Not in the middle, but maybe a little bit. I didn't put it right on the edge. I probably have a uh, half an inch gap between the edge where I put the tape. Uh, the instructions did say, they showed it there. They put it where it's like right on the edge. So, I think if you put it right on the edge, it would have uh, not, definitely would have made contact. So, it makes contact in most places. See, right there, it's not. I know it probably doesn't look that look much right now, but uh, I'll probably take some pictures uh, here shortly. Ooh, you know what? There's a little bit of gap here still. Yep, there's still a little bit of gap. We'll try to adjust this real quick. Huge gap here, but I can't really, uh, there's a little gap right here. I can't really pull it in. There's limitations here. Let's see. Let's see. that's gonna bother me or not Thought I pulled this pretty I don't think it's going anywhere all right guys I installed this yesterday and after sleeping on it 
I think this gap is gonna bother me. So I should have made sure everything was snug, try to push it in. I thought it was when I pulled it, but I don't know, man. It's just shit like this bothers me for some reason. It st sticks in my mind. It's just like now I have this like rattle in my car that seems like it's coming from the engine bay. I, I spent all day trying to uh, get rid of it, see if there is any loose. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna really have to get underneath the car again and check it, but like shit like that bothers me. Um, like this, I, I don't know. Some of you guys don't give a fuck, but for me, uh, I need to fix it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get the hair dryer, heat this tape up, slowly peel it off, I bought some more double-sided tape, and I'm um, gonna redo everything. Um, it's double the work, whatever, but as long as I'm happy with it, that's all that matters, I guess. But I think it turns out turned out well. I really like this. Uh, I guess addition to the spoiler. I don't think the video and picture does it justice. I mean, I remember when I first time saw this thing on the, uh, the other white night gen that I um, uh, saw, I thought it looked really good. And plus, I think when I get an overall shot of the car with the, let me see if I could get one, with the carbon fiber hood and that, like you guys can see with the black accents, I think it looks sick. So. After that, I'm actually going to this chrome shit. This chrome shit is going to turn black. And I'm still waiting for the Honda emblems that I ordered a while ago from, um, I forget the company, but they're cranking out orders again. So the Honda emblem is going to be blacked out with carbon fiber. Um, I, this was before I bought the carbon fiber hood, so I ordered a while ago. So I don't know if it's going to fight with this. So I'm kind of scared on that part because uh, the the emblem inserts all black, uh, the part that's not the H, and then the H part is the carbon fiber. So I don't know if it's gonna look kind of tacky or not. I already put the order in; it's already in. So I mean, we'll see. I think in the back, the Honda emblem is going to look great. Um, so I got the carbon fiber license plate cover, and I think this would. Um, I don't think it's gonna fight it. So we'll see. Like I said, I ordered these before I did any of these mods, so it might fight it. Um, I put a lot of, you know, here and there carbon fiber stuff, like the door seal on the side, you know, just to add a little bit. Cause you know, Honda came with a fake carbon fiber trimming on certain parts. So I just figured I want to add a little bit of carbon fiber. And I love carbon fiber. Um, I always like the look since I've been working on my cars since I was a teenager. So I just like the look. So. Let me go ahead and um, fix this. Um, sucks, because should have been done by now. I was going to wash the car, even though it was fucking cold, out, cold as shit outside. I still wash my cars. Um, I was going to wash it, put some tire shine, take some pictures. I think it's going to rain today, so I was trying to get some pictures before I upload it. But anyways, let me get this started, and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, finally got this shit off. It took about 10 minutes. With that fucking double-sided tape, man. Hey, if you guys ever worried about this shit falling off this double-sided tape man it holds this bitch on there so i'm just gonna take off the residue uh, i got a little spots here take that off it's it's uh once it's like connected all one piece uh it pulls right off so i, I pulled most of it off from the wing so um i was trying to see if i might have done this for nothing so i try to yank it forward like once this is loose and it seems like there's still a gap but like I said in the other video, I think it's because of this lip part. It's not as bent too close uh, to this part. So I'm gonna try to adjust it, probably put some heat on it and uh, put it in. So we'll see, I keep you guys updated um, and I'll be back. All right guys, got everything cleaned off. Pretty smooth. Um, now I'm just trying to test fit the flap again. Uh, make sure this goes all the way in. If not, like I said, I'm gonna readjust it. So I'll uh, be back again. So to my embarrassment, that shit slipped right on. Little bit of gap, like, you know, it was bef uh, on the other side, but this thing is all the way in. Both sides, the gap is good. So, and I didn't even have to like fucking check each side of the gap. I mean, it came real close, just me slapping it off. So I think I was being a little too, um, too cautious with it. Um, it's almost like a direct fit, but 
Yeah, man. So there isn't supposed to be a gap. So I'm gonna retape everything again. Um, I think I'm gonna do probably keep the tape at the same spot where I did. So I probably put it uh, leave a little gap here and probably put the tape. So there's like a little rivet here, if you guys could see. You want to put the tape like right along there. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea just in case you want to take it out to put it up here because it's going to be hard to stick something in to uh, loosen everything. And if you heat it up, you don't want to heat up this with that. You just want to have the, what I did was had the um, hair dryer heat up the tape from this side. So it was easier to pull off. So um, tape will be in the same spot. I think the tape that I got is a little bit thinner. Um, let me double check. Might be the same size, but uh, this should go pretty easy. Gonna wash the car real quick. Clouds are coming in. I wanna take a couple pictures, take a couple videos to show you the overall look of the car. And um, yeah, so let me hurry up and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, everything's done. Everything's snugged in tight. I think this, the 3M double-sided tape is not as strong as the one provided. I've noticed the one provided was a black color. This one was more gray color. And the one provided was a little thicker. Um, no worries though, it seems to, uh, when I press firmly, it seems to make contact. I know it's kind of cold outside, so it's not going to uh, probably seat in properly right away. However, um, I just realized I can't wash the car until it says let it cure for 24 hours. I don't know if I should just go ahead and uh, wash it, maybe put a covering here. Car doesn't really need a wash, however, the tires do. Uh, I do want to spray down the wheels. Um, maybe I'll just wash the wheels. I think the car looks fairly clean. I uh, don't have that much sunlight anyway, so. But I also wanted to, you know, offset the, you know, it's got a brand new part here. Shiny wheels are kind of dull. So I might just go ahead and clean the wheels. That's it. And um, take a couple photos. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, wrap things up, put things away, and um, take some pictures, and wash the wheels real quick, uh, take a cruise. Actually, might do a POV video uh, just to upload it. I know some of you guys were asking about that. Um, I've been hesitant to make a lot of uh, pool videos recently. Last week, I got pulled over twice in the same week. So um, it's really caught me off edge, and that's my fifth ticket within a year or sorry pulled over five times within a year three tickets three tickets within a year and got pulled over five times so um i'm right at the border where i do need to take the class i think i gotta double check the form i think i'm one point off from taking the mandatory class to get uh my points reduced so i'm kind of shaky on doing that but i'll probably just do a pov and um just do a little ride along but anyways guys came out pretty nice i really love it um like i said it looks way better in person it really sets off the car. I really love it. And uh, it's, it's fairly cheap. It was like 100, 120, 150 bucks or something like that. And um, yeah, anyways, um, let me go ahead and clean up and I'll be back. 